Ah, Camp Spooky. The, the, the stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then we were young and unafraid. With school uh -huh. far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. A monster turn at Monster Corner prom, but not. <laughs> oh, I love that backpack. All right. Uh, All right, you gotta roll the turn order again. Yeah. Keith's favorite part. The hey, you get to, you, you have a PSP? Random list. Uh, Oops. That's a switch. If the, that's the not switch, a switch was shaped like a PSP. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have a PSP a... and I only use it to play Loco Roco and Patapon. And then Colonel I never Bird, use it for Keith, else. Stephanie. Somebody remember that. I just remember I'm last. I'm writing it down. Done. Colonel Done. is cute. Yes, always. Uh, Although that so is not my name. Colonel. <laughs> oh my Wait, god. Oh. Whoa. Okay, I need to pick my backpack things. is better. Pick, pick okay. three things. Very strong insect repellent. Build your own golem. Business anal paste. Ew. For what? For what? Us? <laughs> what is anal paste? Also, what? Why, why business? Delicate business <laughs> anal paste. Wow. Maybe wow, is. that escalated. Business Sock means puppet. that it comes with extra customer support. Fake noble <laughs> title. Satanist kit. Piñata pool toy. Human wool ew, sweater. Ew, ew, ew. The oh. penguin <laughs> mask. The penguin mask. Okay, I'm gonna go with the sock puppet, the uh, sweater, and the... Um, I'm gonna go with, oh wait a minute, that's giving me points. That's what Yeah, that is. these are your stats. Satanist. This is yeah. the replacement for the, the quiz, it looks like. Oh, Satanist then. Satanist cookbook. Satanist oh, you kid. would. Of course All right, would. next up is Bird. I guess Bird's gonna be the, yep. the ghost this time, or the, the darkness element, the fear elemental, I think he is. Really? I think he's a shade. That's it. We should throw him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. on Twitter. All right, so you got the recorder. <laughs> oh, different ones. Okay. Blade oh, blade. Blade blade. Blade, blade. blade blade. It's a blade blade. It's like a Beyblade blade with a knife. Let it rip. Nice. Magic mushrooms guide. Lemonada dakimura. <laughs> oh. What the hell is that? Is it's that a, a body pillar of? Yeah, body pillow. yeah. Daki Makura is a, a body pillow, body but it's, pillar? Made, it's a lemonade. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I okay. pronounced both words that's wrong at the same time. Fake yes. noble title. No, that's pretty impressive. Pinata pool toy. Totally fine ukulele. <laughs> Very strong insect repellent and a pocket therapist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're gonna go with the the blade blade. So the bold. So fun. Pocket therapist. And then oh wow yeah my little stats icons like explode. Yeah. Out. Okay, that's neat. And then, uh, what was the middle item? That's the fake noble title. That's yeah. That's probably money. That's that's that is comma the human uh, joke I made before. <laughs> Resume. There we go. Mm. Ah, I nailed it. Okay, got I'm it. I'm not tired. <laughs> Definitely that not. That was cool. I'm I'm glad that you made. That Listen, I joke. it's it's a callback to the fact that I already made a title for you, but I, I couldn't think of it on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> um, what seems bold? Uh, 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 there's there's a lack of anal cream. <laughs> yeah, such a shame. What a waste. Good. <laughs> okay, let's go with the uh, the bringing ukulele. a ukulele to fun. the fire is pretty bold, and that nobody wants you yeah. to hear. That's bold. I was right. All right, Yay, third. was I third? Yeah, I think you're I was third. third. You're third, yes. Your is green is different this time, isn't it? My God, what are we gonna do? It's a little bit more mustardy. Yeah, sounds like I, a I like that coloring green. Hawaiian shirt. Oh, you to color it yourself? <laughs> oh, that's like it's cute. Shirt. They used to sell teddy that's bears like that. That's creativity. pool toy. <laughs> that's literally the opposite of creativity. Creativity, isn't it? Paint by numbers. Well, no. yeah, but you can make the flowers any color you Philosopher want. Philosopher's stone growing yeah. kit. This this calls to me. This reminds me of. Yeah, be creative with it. 
paint by numbers is just you do it the way you want to and fuck the rules. The sword yeah. of Roar, king of the lions. <laughs> multi-tool. Too many multi-tool. Coral comb. Canned brain. That suits your character. Vampire sun yeah. hat. And a Sudoku Rubik's Oh, God, Cube. that would make me want to oh, kill myself. Oh, <laughs> no. I don't. Do you hate oh. yourself? Does that exist? <laughs> no. Sudoku. I'm God, going right I now. hate Rubik's Cube so much. Oh, my God, every row moves. Look at that. I don't even, know. Right, I don't so even think that I, I, have to, I have to pick the geology one no, and not. the brains well, I one. I guess it could be possible. So that would be the worst be thing I, I had to pick the geology one and I had to pick the, the zombie one. Oh my god, what a fucking it's nightmare. Actually, it's spelled Rubik instead of Rubik. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's it's, not That is thing. a single Rubik. Well, I, I think, it's a rubric on how to not be hung out well, with it by anyone I think anymore. The, the guy who made it, I think, was named Rubik, but I think Rubik's was a brand of Rubik's Cubes. I just like the goofy uh, name. Like, the how sword chapstick of, is like I just like the sword of Roar. I did not know that. That's solid boldness. No split stat there. No solid boldness. Uh, my tap name somehow. is... Stefania. Red, like the Pokemon S character named Red. <laughs> Stefania. <laughs> well, that's not, uh, that's that is how it's written in French. <laughs> you said you said noises instead of your name. <laughs> Stefania would be with an you A. You didn't say those end. noises. <laughs> I don't know. It's you added like vowels. three noises. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Very strong insect repellent. Pokemon TCG. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, TCG. Put, put that in the backpack. There we go. Scott <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> nice. Competitive Tarot. <laughs> Campfire Songbird. <laughs> Songbook. <laughs> Competitive Tarot. <laughs> Magma Trekking Books. Hipster Costume. Coloring Hawaiian Shirt and Spork. Uh, wow, a perma spork, not even a disposable one. That's just spork. a normal thing. You're that's adopting the spork, spork lifestyle. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna. I get... like the idea of comparing comp of mixing the two cards together. <laughs> I want the competitive tarot also because then I can I can just mix the Pokemon deck yeah. and the tarot card deck together and just defeat guessing. everyone. So yeah, put that in my, I like... my backpack. I like that your backpack has a fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh right, is this a also combat? On fire? Weren't the, the Scott snacks were yeah. Japanese, huh? That's definitely like a Japanese snack. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of when Homer Simpson was like a light bulb mascot or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and then right? he was like, uh, he was like Mr. Washi, and he was like on the yeah, Mr. Washi. Washi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, or Nicholas Nicholas Cage's <laughs> pachinko tour, just as many oh, pachinko gosh. commercials. Oh, I'll take huh. the magma boots to match my magna backpack with my magma magma, magma self. Boots. You, know, you would, have a fire extinguisher on your backpack. I would take the spork, but I'd eat with my hands. One might say that the monster prom is hardened us to, to, on the highs and lows of love. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners. The summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of summer love loomed over our heads. Like a bomb. Who are they? Look at that hair. What is that? That's I think I think that's fire or something. Uh, Close to last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just two weeks away. Everyone knew oh. that if you were into someone, you were going to uh, you're going to watch that damn thing together. Dude, like like in every <laughs> romance anime yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, no, the, the, the meteor festival in Beastars. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all <laughs> over again. Phrasing. No Everything comment. seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Yeah, fuck everyone else. It's Joy! She's it's a Joy, she's yay. dateable now. <laughs> Joy Johnson Johima, Yohima or something. 23. A badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. She's finally not uh, sharing a sprite with two other characters. <laughs> she has independence <laughs> now. Oh! <gasps> A Ravi Mishra, 22, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. That's two voices. So that's, like, it's that yeah, person. and that's the, sl that's the slayer from earlier. Yep. Yeah, it is. So two returning characters. Calculester Hewlett Packard version 1.1. The 1. three 1. returning characters. A library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. Dahlia oh. Aquino. 20. Big Mama! Big Mama's back! <laughs> a, dumb, 
Um, <laughs> yeah, dummy mommy. <laughs> the things that yeah. came out of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what came out of my mouth other than... <laughs> A buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering Summer next. Damien LeVay, an actual returning original cast member. A fearless mm -hmm. demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. And Milo, Milo Belladonna, 23? A death reaper doubling as internet as an internet influencer and who was profoundly <laughs> in love with life and all of its earthly pleasures. So we have one returning main cast member, one returning expansion member, three returning uh, side characters, and one brand new influencer. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants that one, right? <laughs> the important thing is I don't have to hurt myself trying to voice uh, Dolly anymore. Now it's your guys' responsibilities. All right, divvy them up, bros. Well, I got Dami Mommy because I had Dami Mommy last time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got uh, Aravi. I got Slayer. Okay, I got Damien because he's my he's my boo. The only existing returning voiced character. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can say goth girl if you guys want. Okay. I uh I have never done Calculaster. Do you like Calculaster? Oh, his voice anyway. Uh, Bird. Me? No. No, I'll, I'll 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 do Calculaster and Damien then. Who's 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 the influencer? Who wants to be the influencer? Oh, it's Bird. Yeah, that, that leaves Bird, Milo, oh, okay. and the Slayer. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, some Slayer. She's got and... star eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which means you might need to make a tree spirit voice or whatever that is too, if that thing talks. No, it's fine. We're definitely we're definitely uh, breaking continuity. I'm giving her a totally new voice for camp. Yeah. We go back to prom, we'll give her the old voice, but for camp, there's no <laughs> way. If she's a main character, we're not doing the uh, uh, voice. Like, no, we're gonna, yeah, you said you were, were going to give her. Yeah, you said you were going to. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give her the actual Slayer, like, her heroine voice. Yeah. The bus trip was long, and all of summer could be shaped by the first steps well taken. And so it was clear. It all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Break the ice by doing something unexpected on the bus. We still have the trivia thing, apparently. So it's just more stat uh -huh. stuff going on. Uh, Ride the bus to victory, play dead. Like just how... press the skip button till this shit starts. <laughs> <laughs> Form a magic trick. Start a fire. Make sure this bus is happy. I like how that's unexpected. Oh, the bus that's, is happy. That's funny. Does that mean the bus literally? Mm -hmm. You just pet the I bus. Mm -hmm. Pet the bus. Let's go with that. Can you pet Let's the bus? Out. Let's make sure the bus is happy. Pet the oh. uh, bus. Not me, though. I'm going to ride the bus to victory. <laughs> That is unexpected. <laughs> yeah. Did you play it, get it? That's uh, not unexpected, Keith. Shut up. <laughs> oh, well, see, see, for me, the wrong answer would be start a fire, because, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, you gotta I'll, I'll be don't want to play into stereotypes. I'll be a nerd. Yeah. I'll do a magic trick. I'll I think be a he's nerd. in for characters. Everybody yeah. look. Look. Are you looking? <laughs> oh, fuck. They they oh, Calculester. What a lovely suggestion, Colonel. I was just beginning to worry about the bus well-being myself. Oh, you see, he's a robot, so he he, he yeah. likes that you were... So you actually are petting the bus. It does mean the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I've been monitoring the bus's speed against its level of jitteriness and the overwhelming diesel fumes that permeate the cargo hold in which we sit for a while. And I have come to the conclusion that, like me, the bus needs to be adequately fueled by an outside source to continue operating well. You know what I'm saying, of course. The bus needs a stable Wi-Fi signal. <laughs> I've turned on my personal hotspot. Oh, giggity, wow. So the bus should be <laughs> happy soon. But perhaps oh. while I overextend giggity, my own signal, you <laughs> could turn on your hotspot too, so I can latch on. Latch oh, on yeah. hotspots. Can you pet the hotspot? <laughs> Cal's heart is in the right place, though you may need to explain gasoline to him. On the other hand, sharing your Wi-Fi signal with him is probably the closest thing to human touch he can experience, so that's a big win for <laughs> you. <laughs> Dahlia! <No. laughs> <No. laughs> Wait, are we riding to victory right now? I thought we were on summer vacation. I admire your resolve, Bird. War never sleeps, and there are always victories to be taken. You've opened my eyes. We shall ride this bus into our destinies. And when we reach camp, we will have our spoils. Just what the spoils are still remains to be seen, I guess. 
but a war conqueress never doubts herself. See you at camp, fellow soldier. See, you didn't get to hook up your hotspot with her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello oh. there, Keith. Playing possum, are we? Your impression of a lifeless corpse is quite impressive, but it's nearly impossible to fool a reaper. But I am a lifeless corpse. <laughs> Shut up. If you really want to sell it, make sure you stop to stop your breathing entirely and let your eyes go glassy, like an elderly woman staring blankly at Wheel of Fortune at 3 p.m. Ooh, cool. Ooh. Wait, that's probably not a good influencer voice. Aren't influencers' voices more like, here, try again and let me critique you? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's the one. That's oh, the no. One. <laughs> oh, no. It's so much too. worse. Yeah. <laughs> right, right comment, time subscribe. To... <laughs> you sound like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I, I know. It's oh, great. No. Perhaps by the time we get to camp, you'll be such a good corpse impressionist that I'll have to schedule a gig to reap you anyway. That sounds romantic, you think, or terrifying, but you can work with that. Joy. <clears throat> uh, are you doing a sleight of hand magic, Stephanie? Not bad. I've considered going the entertainment route with my magic before, if, before, wait, with my magic before, if I ever retire from saving the world. That sounds written right. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe I just looked at it funny. <laughs> comas, comas need more comas. It may never happen, but maybe you'd like to be my lovely assistant if it ever pans out. We can practice more magic together at camp and see if it's a good fit. We only had two weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. You're all getting special storylines because of your items. We are? Are we? Oh, my stats. Ooh. <laughs> So what? What did I choose? Oh. Are they lower than before? They feel lower than before. <laughs> they no, they yeah, feel, I feel like our even. stats are across the board a little lower. They are super even on my oh. side, though. Like <laughs> I did a. It's kind of funny because this week at work I did a. a uh, I don't know what it is, but it's like a personality test. It's not really, but it's like it's more business oriented. And I, I'm just flat across across the board. Everybody's oh, like, money's Damn. gone. It's weird. Oh, money oh, that's is good. gone. Money sucks. Yeah, yeah, money, money yeah. just doesn't does, stat anymore. Does a, does a little suck. In real life, I wonder if we get more than two stats. Maybe. Uh, for everything we do. Yeah. So the woods Let's... the woods is smarts. Lake is fun. The camp dome is charm. <laughs> the manor is boldness. And scout HQ is creativity. Let's go with the... The manor. Is it a manor? The... Oh, that's boldness, right? No, no, yeah. I mean charm. Where's charm? Charm oh, is right camp there. dome. It's the camp, war of course. Coliseum. It's the war. Yeah. There's some kind of explosion <laughs> happening in there. With a, with a. Everyone's hat covered in blood. Oh, like that person's cut in half. <laughs> Look at that person that's cut in half. What that's is happening in there? Humans. What the fuck they're is humans. the camp dome? Oh, yeah, we're down to only five locations too. I guess because of the stats. Yeah. So, oh, there's, yeah. there's, there's no, the there's no store too. Yeah. Because there's no money. Yeah. I'm, I'm what if we unlock the store later? We might. Hey, things are going to be oh, maybe, different. Maybe yeah. there's no store because we have the items from the beginning, and that's how we get the items. Maybe. I don't so know. You, so you want to Because you guys them? are getting... Yeah, yeah. Because you guys are getting all special things. That day at the camp nice. dome, you play hacky sack. It's not hacky sack. It's all fun that's and games. <laughs> literally. <laughs> until the hacky sack falls, <laughs> and against all of your knowledge of hacky sack's supposed composition, it breaks upon hitting the it floor. It shatters. <laughs> What the fuck? The good news is, inside of there, if it there's two charm, you call dibs. It's an egg with charm inside. Lovely. You Delicious spot Calculester charm. fiddling with what looks like a compass. You ask to borrow it because you have a strong desire for any object that contains the word ass. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. Though it pains me to deny your request, Colonel, I simply must decline. This is an experimental comp ass, which I am using <laughs> for a special project. You ask him why his experimental compass has been has replaced the word north with great job. Is this what people call For encouragement, you, you see, this is no ordinary comp ass. What I am attempting to construct here is a moral comp ass. Mm -hmm. 
during my tenure at Spooky High and subsequently here at Camp Spooky, I have noticed that many of our peers are, shall we say, morally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. It's a fair assessment. It is not their fault, I know. All monsters are fundamentally good. They are merely confused and possibly sociopaths. Success. So in order to help them know what is right and hopefully do a bit less crimes, I am constructing this device to help point them in the right direction. I've successfully picked the most, the least, no wait, the most human character. That's a oh, humane robot. character. <laughs> yeah, it's a robot. Wow. The trouble is, whereas ordinary compasses orient themselves according to the Earth's magnetic north, I do not know what ought to serve as my compass's moral north. Literal Quote, moral unquote. compass, my god. At first, I was sure that it should point at Oprah, <laughs> but then I learned that she was breed reading an army of snake people infused with her DNA in order to take over the world. Dude, no, no one who's rich should, should be moral north, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Fair point. That won't do at all. With so many Oprah snake clones slithering around, the compass won't know where to point. <laughs> Too many Oprah snakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Common but problem. I have another... On a plane. I have another idea. I can ask you for help. Hmm. You are... That's such a cheeky smile. I, it wasn't that cheeky before, was it? <laughs> it, it was. It's very, it's it was very that cute. amount of cheek. It was? He's very okay. cute. They've amplified the smile. <laughs> You are clearly a paragon of virtue, as evidenced by the fact that you are always following me around trying to please me. <laughs> what do you think I should use for my moral north? 500 copies of Immanuel Kant's Critique of Pure Reason buried in a cro at a crossroads. <laughs> no. What does what? that mean? <laughs> Whoever's at the top of the official Word Karma scoreboard. Oh, World no, Karma scoreboard. Both really misguided answers. Oh, yes, absolutely. Both very misguided. Um, I think the last one is either fun. It's gotta be fun, right? I I, I think the first one's smart, and the last, the second one's fun. Yeah. But you're at five for both of those. So the first one's definitely that. pretentious. Yes. Critique of pure reason buried at crossroads. Pretentiousness is in the stat. It's definitely it kind not. Of is. It's yeah. definitely not uh, boldness. It's, the first that one, one. Yeah, the so first I'm one's definitely first not one. fun. So. Well, yeah, I'm so smart. Yay! Ah, but where will we get 500 copies of Kant's seminal moral work on such short notice? Oh, you've already got them. The last page of the Critique of Pure Reason reads, By the way, the greatest categorical imperative of all is to go out and buy 499 more copies of Critique <laughs> of Pure Reason. Oh, it makes so much sense. Thank goodness you decided to express your morality through consumerism, Colonel. How very modern. <laughs> Come, let us bury your books. Morality oh. and consumerism go hand in hand. You head out into yeah. the woods with a couple of shovels and get to digging. It's nice to share some more, some manual labor time with your metal pal. You get all sweaty <laughs> from the hard work. Cal doesn't, though, so he asks you to smear some of your sweat on him so he could feel included. So romantic. That's actually very cute. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. At last, you finish burying all 500 copies. Only then do you remember books aren't magnetic. Dang, but suddenly... <gasps> Look, Colonel, my compass is going haywire, and the ground... It, is it shaking? It is indeed. From the pit full of books and glowing blue... A glowing blue hand emerges. I am happy. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> it appears the books we planted have sprouted into a morality ideal person. It's just as Kant wrote in Chapter 7. The morally ideal per uh, person arises from the dirt. Their eyes glow with golden light. They have big titties and a huge wiener. Oh, man. T oh, wow. Apex morality. I knew it. Apex morality. <laughs> it's, it's just Baphomet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, morally ideal person. What is your name? The only name that is categorically correct to have, says the apparition. Douglas. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Douglas. Would you like <laughs> to be the moral north for the comp ass I am making? Well, says Douglas, I am going to travel the earth righting wrongs with my supernatural powers of moral reasoning. But it is categorically imperative to do nice things for people when they ask you to. Very well, I will stand here for eternity in order to power your dodgy compass. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you truly are a paragon of virtue. Thank you. <laughs> it's kind of a callback because I'm a paragon of virtue because I please him. 
Thank you, Douglas. I will come and visit you all the time. By the way, can I call you Doug? That would be like calling Emmanuel Kant Manny K, says Douglas. I so perfect. <laughs> Indeed, I am already learning so much about moral reasoning. Farewell, Douglas. I shall visit you every day. Cal stays true to his word, and the lessons he learns from Douglas make him an even sweeter boy than he already was. As for you, you you content yourself with two charm and one smarts. Can I take a minute to think? Them numbers I are on the a sweetest climb. Boy. Anytime I'm wow. like... If, if Emmanuel Kant ever comes up again, which honestly, if it comes up in conversation <laughs> with any philosopher being name dropped, there's like a 90% chance I'm gonna roll my eyes and go, oh my gosh, this person. But <laughs> if it comes up, I'm gonna I'm gonna slap them back with a Manny K because I think that's Manny K. Yeah, dude, that my boy Manny K actually thought this, so take that. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> and with the Manny K right. true facts. I don't know what stats I want to go for, so Good. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> Pick my lowest stats and go from there. She probably wants. <laughs> she probably wants boldness, right? Probably. Yeah, she's all about killing things and stuff. Yeah, but I don't even know if I'm gonna wind up on her route because I'm all. I'm team. I'm on the D right now. You know what I mean? You just want to hard leave that entire route. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Can you? Let's do, I do Lake. Let's. I do wonder start. how the stats are different between the two demons. I think. I think yeah. Lake is gonna be the least. I think she's gonna be the least into fun. So I think going for the lake might be a good opportunity to branch out. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So lake. Pew pew. That day he decided mm. to take a swimming class in the lake. He learned all sorts of cool swimming techniques. The backstroke, the side stroke, the, the macarena stroke, the mime <laughs> having a stroke. Hey. All those oh, strokes nice. <laughs> sure are fun, though perhaps a bit medically concerning. You gain too fun. Now the narrator's just always talking. After that, you happen upon Dahlia messing around in front of her tent. It looks like she's surrounding it with bear traps and pictures of herself saying, Swipers, no swiping. Hey! Oh, hey, bird. How are... Ah, oh, damn it! Dahlia stepped in one of the bear traps while walking up to you. She yanks it off her foot and proceeds to mangle and take revenge on every last one of them. So not smarts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is anyone else? Is anyone else turned on right now? Oh, so um. <laughs> oh, I should have known those rusty little ankle biters would never work. But how else can I improve my fortress away from fortress? Bird, maybe you can help me. As you know, I am an extremely accomplished monster scout, and the badges I've earned are arguably worth more than gold or love. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I can't undercut my natural good looks by wearing them all the time, but I don't like storing them in my tent without any sort of defenses. <gasps> Those are Monster Scout badge thieves lurking around every corner, hiding in the shadows, always ready to steal badges. I need to be prepared. You kind of doubt that, but it's cute seeing Dahlia so passionate and worked up about something. Isn't be and prepared the Boy Scout motto? That's a nice prepared. reference. Uh, I was going to say, I think it's Scar's, <laughs> Scar's motto. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it could be both. Scar was <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate Boy Scout. Oh, Did yeah. she have a Is that a what he was? The... <laughs> Did she have a choker in the first game? I don't, I don't think so. In mm. the new design. There's a lot of costumes. Mm. In your silence, yeah. she goes back to punching the bear traps. Now is a good time to brainstorm. How can you fortify her tent and ward off badge thieves? Make a scarecrow out of the corpse of a previous robber. Scatter a oh. very alluring 1,000 puzzle pieces around the tent. These will get so distracted trying to finish they won't have time to steal anything. Um, the top one's probably boldness. The bottom one is either smarts or creativity. But boldness is tied for most of my best stats, so we'll go with that one. So bold. Yeah! Oh, hey, good idea. I was wondering what I was going to do with old Stinko here. What? Dahlia Ew. casually reaches into her tent and pulls out a dead guy. You're unsure <laughs> if its name was Stinko before, but it definitely is now. Ew. Yeah, this scoundrel was trying to rob my tent earlier today. He has to borrow some sunscreen, and I said sure, but then I realized it could all be a clever ruse to steal my badges, so I stabbed him just to be safe. <laughs> Good thing I earned the arts and crafts and rotting biomatter badge last week. Let's make a scarecrow. You and Dahlia get to work outfitting Stinko with some scary costumes. Fake fangs, fake blood, real blood, donated by Stinko. 
<laughs> a butcher's knife, a pitchfork, a real fork, a spork. The scariest <laughs> of all cutlery because it's unpredict of its unpredictability. <laughs> Dang it, I should yeah. get the spork. <laughs> hey, this is kind of fun. I think I have some glitter left over from my army's attack on the fourth circle. Pride. <laughs> oh, pride. <Yeah. laughs> oh, like Scar, because he was a matter of pride. Well, see, that's, 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 that's the hell he's in. That's I, funny because it's the fourth circle of hell, but it's also like sparkles, so they're glitter, so they're referring to like pride, like the pride parade. Yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> like, I might, I maybe that's the joke. I don't know. I, th I thought that. I thought oh. it was funny. And, here's and some also, uh, Scar's gay. It, <laughs> joke finished. Disney never <laughs> confirmed that, Keith, okay? The creator As if they did, ever would. <laughs> by being gay. <laughs> and here's some cool sunglasses yep. I took from a different guy I killed. So chic. Your Scarecrow pro uh, project turns into a big game of dress-up, which eventually ends with a fashion show where you drag Stinko down a runway to make him pose dramatically. Now give me fierce! Hell yeah! Let's see your game face! Work those rigor mortis calves, Stinko. I love it. <laughs> this is the most fashionable guy I've ever killed. No one will ever try to rob me now. Thanks for your help, bird. Well, Dolly is right about everybody avoiding her tent. Stinko, in addition to looking f fly, sure attracts a lot of flies. You're pretty sure this whole nice. area is a biohazard now. But who cares? Dolly is so cute that she, when she gets into a project, Stinko gets, gains plus 10 fashion, but minus t all life, and you gain two creativity and one fun. Uh, let's do this. Looks that kill. <laughs> oh, the backgrounds are different colors. That's confusing. Of the chosen ones. What? what do you mean? One of them's like bluish, and the other one's not. Of the two chosen oh. ones. Oh, already. I see. Yeah. Weird. It's weird. Oh. Um. Mm, influencer, so charm. I like the new chops the guitar player brought. The charm's this. taken. Yeah. It's, charm's it's taken. different. It's kind so of like boldness, a. Boldness, because you gotta get those Logan Brothers points. Yeah. Spooky Goost! That day you venture into the haunted manor. Everything's going fine, and you're reassured on, on on how brave you are. When suddenly a ghost, or is it someone wearing a blanket with two holes? So hard to tell the difference. Appears and whispers in your ear. That's remember reference. one day you will be long gone, and no one will remember you. All the struggle you endure to become a better version of yourself, both personally and professionally, will eventually mean nothing. The ghost leaves you to take that all in, getting two boldness in the process. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, a, what a mean ghost. Yeah. He didn't even scare you, he just like gave you some unsettling yeah. existential dread. <laughs> just ruined your life. Shortly after, you're helping Joy and Milo. Uh, is it Milo or Milo? I'm gonna lose my mind here. Exercise an evil know. spirit from the haunted man. The world is at risk again. Okay, uh, Milo, I guess. <laughs> Milo, Keith, I need your help making sure this binding circle doesn't break. Otherwise, the spirit could escape and terrorize humanity forever. More? Yes, of course, darling. And we'd never let that happen. If the haunted manor becomes possessed by a malevolent spirit, horrible things would happen. Hashtag blessed. Duck face. <laughs> For example, I can't post that lovely selfie I took by the entrance with the caption, hashtag blessed. It would be in such poor taste. I think the Grim Reaper doing any kind of hashtag blessed is, is <laughs> in itself funny. It's yeah. nice to have such <laughs> selfless friends. However, just as Joy started to say the dread summoning chant, you're in interrupted by a ringing doorbell. Pizza for Milo <laughs> and Joy. Sup, I've got a large pepperoni pizza for you three, or you four, I guess. You three and a half. What's the, the dude in the middle of the pentagram? Pizza. Ugh. A pizza? I never ordered a pizza. I hate delivery food with a passion. That's not vegan friendly. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, of it's definitely oh, not for God. me either. Vegans don't eat pepperoni pizza, and we're also in the middle of something very important. And if you ruin my concentration, <laughs> you nah, dudes. I, I'm sure this pizza's for you. I've got the address right here. Clear as day. Mysterious, dilapidated haunted manor in the heart of the woods. How on earth did you find this place with such vague instructions? I searched far and wide, because I am motivated by one thing and one thing only, tip money, which I'll be needing you to give me before I can leave. But it's not our pizza. It's just a game pizza. <laughs> anyway, 
Be gone, darling, before I leave an incredibly scathing Yelp review. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it is, it is, I was gonna say, right, it's supposed shit. to be like the grudge girl or like yeah, the ring girl. she's a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. No can do. You can't go back to work without money for the pizza. You're stuck with me until one of you ponies up. It's like that SpongeBob episode. <laughs> uh, Where's my doctor kelp? No wonder <laughs> your friends accuse you of being annoying when you refuse to leave them alone. This sucks. <laughs> this girl won't leave anytime soon, and her presence is fucking with Joy's concentration on the exorcism. How can you convince her this is definitely not your pizza? Check the pizza's Facebook profile. The true owner of the pizza will surely be one of its contacts there. Oh, gosh. The pizza doesn't belong to us. It belongs to Earth. It came from the Earth. It should go back to what it. A, dude, what a hippie dippy thing to the say. What the fuck are these options? Um, <laughs> that... <sighs> Ooh. Those are kind of hard to guess, honestly. Yeah, these are abstract. There's a lot going on here. The second one seems like creativity. Because it's, it's very, like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It could be charm, because like both of these could be charm, because they're uh, convincing somebody. But I think it's more than that. I, I have like no charm's idea. Charm's usually flirty, I think. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Roll Fuck. that dice. I'm in trouble. <laughs> you are. Uh, back oh, to the earth. So creative. Yay! Ooh, you argue that this pizza doesn't belong to you, your friends, the pizza girl, or to anyone. It belongs to Mother Earth and should be returned. Huh? Uh, but the Mother Earth can't pay for... Shut the fuck up. You snatch the pizza out of her hands, <laughs> dig a hole in the ground, and gently place the pizza into it. I have a thing, so... Um, is something gonna happen? I'll have you know that I have an extremely short attention span. You encourage Milo to wait. You all just need to believe. The earth is beautiful that way. You all watch silently. Suddenly a majestic ray of golden light descends from the sky upon this parcel of ground. It's and from, the gr and from the ground grows a beautiful delicate flower made of melted cheese and pepperoni. Everyone's amazed. Oh, what a plot twist. The Holy fuck? shit. It, it's a pizza flower? <sighs> How touching. I suppose the pizza did belong to the Earth after all. Just goes to show, you should never let anyone own you. Hashtag independence. <laughs> oh, no. no. Oh. Okay, but, like, someone still needs to pay for the pizza. Hmm, actually, I'm checking your store website, and it clearly says on the front page that you're running a promotion right now. Hmm. This month only, customers may pay for their pizza with cash, card, or a gesture of gentle, otherworldly beauty. No. Oh, uh, okay. Guess this qualifies. See you later then. That was magic. Um, if it's all the same to you guys, I'm taking this flower. I feel like I could brew one hell of an anti-hangover potion with it. <laughs> Meat that flour. Go right ahead, darling. I've already posted the whole experience for a posterity. Caption, all this world needs is love, happiness, and a flower made of pizza. That's good. That's a good thumbnail right there. <laughs> you never finished the exorcism, but all you ever gave a shit about was looking cool and generous in front of your friends, which you do. You gain two creativity and one smarts. Where to go now? Well, it's been an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what I got? I you got can be creative or smart and nothing else. <laughs> um, I'll be creative because I'm not creative currently. <laughs> Scout HQ. Oh. You're gonna learn how to do knots oh. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that day That's in awesome. Monster Scouts, you all learn how to build scarecrows. That's vaguely nature related, right? You decide to take a step further, though. You add a magical crystal you found in a cave last month to your scarecrow to turn it into a sentient being. The Scarecrow's f very grateful to have been made alive. You take your new friend out for soda and have a very pleasant afternoon. Then you're forced to disassemble him and then, so that the next group of scouts can use the materials. Your Scarecrow begs you not to relinquish your gift of life, but you're, dedic you're a dedicated monster scout first. It's like Frost the Snowman, you take his hat away. <laughs> but he was like taken apart by the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Just hacked apart. The, the scouts... Nice. <laughs> What if, uh, what if Frosty the Snowman was drawn and quartered? 
<laughs> These gods appreciate your dedication to the organization. You're we are awarded two creativity. Frosty melts. I think that's even worse, dude. <laughs> you meet up with Joy to help her practice her dramatic looks when suddenly your nose detects the unmistakable scent of Dimitri. From the dark. Oh God. <laughs> Indeed, oh, my yeah. little something sometimes phone and definitely not potential love interest. No. No, that's not what you smelled at all. It smelled more, much more like Coach in a bear costume. <laughs> Fuck, I have to make them sound different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're like, <laughs> their voices are really similar. I tr I tr it's hard. You never thought they'd be in the same room? No, I, 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 it's because I fuck up at Dimitri and I make him sound... I, I'm not, I don't make him sound enough like fucking Count Chocula. Get him bad. <laughs> bad attack. Bad Maybe. attack. I am a bear and I'm attacking. Don't worry, I'm not actually a bear. It's just your good old high school coach who cares a lot about bear safety. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend you're Zangief, because that's how you sound to me. <laughs> <laughs> that I, is more or less the goal. And I love Zangief. I know you're not actually a bear coach. Can't you see I'm busy having a climactic and steamy showdown with my sometimes foe and definitely not secret crush? Yes, be gone, foolish were tiger. What do you care for? Bear safety when the very fate of the world hangs in the balance. Aww. What do we care for better safety? What do we care for better safety? Oh, kids, you need this better safety drill more than I thought. Fact 100% of fatal bear attacks result in the death of one or more people. <laughs> that statistic is tautological. Fact 100% of bear attacks happen without when at least one bear is present. Where did you get these bear facts? Fact, bears do not pee during hibernation. Hmm. Uh, that I don't believe. Actually, a pretty <laughs> yeah. interesting fact. But there aren't any real bears here. And even if there were, Dimitri is far more dangerous than a bear. <laughs> oh, really? Then explain why I, your coach, who cares deeply about your well-being, well am d be dressed in a bear costume and not a Dimitri costume. Damn. Joy is clearly not going to beat coach with logic. And she's not going to beat Dimitri at all if you don't help. But how can you prove to Coach that Dimitri is the bigger priority? Assist Coach in creating a, tax, a taxonomy that properly assesses the dangerousness of every single animal so they can truly see that vampire lords greater than bears. <laughs> Convince Coach that Dimitri is actually a bear. Oh, okay. I looked so, boom. Shortcut. <laughs> Google says grizzly bears and black bears generally do not defecate or urinate during hibernation. Wow. Also, they do. typing in do bears pee, but just P, the letter P, just P. It auto corrects P during hibernation. Like, it just knows, like, <laughs> like oh, I, we know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what else would it possibly be? Well, like, reptiles do that Oop, too. They that was the other one. The <laughs> poop during hibernation also popped up. <laughs> if you have a pet tortoise, you can, like, put it in a cardboard box and, like, put it on a shelf in your garage, like, all throughout winter, and it'll just chill there and until just summer comes there. around. As Weird. a few people do that. Wow. Um, okay, so the first one's definitely smarts, which I am, like, mediocre at, but the second one could be creativity, which I'm also five at, but it could be fun, which I'm seven at, so I feel like I should go for the second one, because I have the two, I think I have but more of a chance. Think? I think it's charm, I the think second it's charm. one. <laughs> oh, fuck. Convincing fight, somebody. Fight. But I also think charm is, like, flirty. Charm is usually, like, when you're, like, be being what cheeky you and you're, like, talking about smooching or something. We don't you know? smart, uh, flirt too much in these options. In the in the last game, there's a there's like I usually could always tell charm because it was always something kind of flirty. Hmm. But I mean, maybe maybe. You gotta go with your gut. Oh fuck. Uh, I'm gonna go with the yeah. second one. We're just gonna guess it. No, fuck! So oh, you're charm. right. Oh. No. Yes, I know he's clearly a bear in disguise. That's why I've been trying to t to warn you. What? I am a <laughs> I am absolutely <laughs> not a bear. If anything, I'm a twink. <laughs> wait. Um. <laughs> wait. <laughs> You're way too old to be a twink. <gasps> Excuse me. That's what bears want you to <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't wow. know what a twink is, but you're never you're never too old to be a vicious wild bear disguised as a vampire lord. Mm. Oh, that kind of bear. Well, I'm not that either. Notice my chiseled six pack. My, flaw my flawless complexion. The fact that I use words to speak instead of growling. <laughs> the six pack is made of raw salmon. The complexion is a hologram, and the words are, are just carefully modulated growls. <laughs> How can you not all see this? Come on, just look at Dimitri and squint. Just try it. If I'm wrong, 
I I'll leave you guys alone. Ugh. This is idiotic, but if it'll make you happy, I'll try looking. <laughs> oh shit, he's actually a bear. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, game. <laughs> That was the scariest thing I've ever seen. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, this failure well, was good. I was gonna say I feel oh better God. about fucking that up because I really like this picture. I get to see. I don't. Oh my God! Oh my God! No. Look at the little bear eyes in the middle. Yes. Look, look how the badge is like a piece of candy taped to like. On, yeah, and is drawn on abs. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yep, definitely a bear. You can't believe you fell for that disguise. Then again, everyone fell for Calculester's disguise back when he was a library computer in a trench coat. Well, you did your best. I told you, <laughs> kids. You're, you're lucky if you if I've got such you've lucky I've got such a keen eye for dis, for secret bears. So, has Dimitri always been a bear, like at all times? I'm asking for a uh, personal reasons. <laughs> bears are out uh. there. Waiting for you. Oh, probably <laughs> not. Bears usually like to base their disguises on real people. <laughs> then again, you never know. It's like I always say, life is like a box of chocolates, and any of those chocolates might actually be a bear. My goddess. Oh, goddess. If he was a bear, when? No, no, it's not possible. But what if? <laughs> but if. Coach, I need you to teach Unless. me everything you know about bears and bear safety now. <laughs> My pleasure. I knew you'd come around. Come on, I've got a whole bunch of pamphlets to show you. Joy races off uh, to learn everything you can from the coach it. about bears, <laughs> leaving in a deal with the actual bear, which you have no idea how to handle. Should have taken coach's lessons more seriously. You gained minus two boldness and minus one fun. I think, uh, I think it might have been the first time I failed the check. Ever? I think so. Wow. Mm -hmm. 